This girl says she's disproportionate. She says mainly her shoulders and her big arms. I agree that your arms are kind of big, but they're not that disproportionate. I would recommend veganism. Could make you feel a lot better about your arms. Oh, hello, doctor. Are the nurses around? I need a blowjob. This person says I hate my double chin. It makes me feel so insecure. And I would feel the exact same if I had that double chin. The answer? Probably veganism or vegetarianism. I recently cut my huge afro. I don't like my current face. Meanwhile, his face is awesome. Looks like you're straight out of an anime. Oh my god, I have guns. Two guns. One for the both of us. I look 12 when I'm 18. Being 5 -0 doesn't help. Actually, I think you look 16 or 20. I, I don't know. I'm really bad at guessing people's ages. This girl says she hates how long her nose is. She doesn't like her chubby cheeks. Okay, one, I like your cheeks. And two, if your nose wasn't that long, your whole face would look weird. Like here, I'll put a shorter nose on you. Yeah, you see what that looks like? That that looks really weird. Let's just not do that. Bro, I'm gonna shoot you, bro. Turn, and I'm the first to admit that you literally sound like a pedophile. I'm gonna shoot you. This person said they lost 50 pounds, and they still feel chubby. I mean, you could lose more weight, but I think you actually look pretty good as you are. I'm flat. I wish I had big boobs and a butt. I would love of curvy. Wow. <laughs> Can we all just stop and say, wow? This girl has the body that a ton of chicks wish they had. And here she is wishing that she had the body of the chicks who wish they had her body. <laughs> Guns in the air. Like I don't care. Ever since I was little, my dad, along with many others, called me fat. I'm recovering from bulimia. I still have things I don't like about my body. Okay, one, paleness is awesome. Acne goes away. Your eyebrows can be fixed by going to a professional eyebrow groomer. Your stomach looks totally fine. In other words, your dad is a jerk. He cursed you with a life of false self-doubt. Can I shoot myself in the knee? Ow, ow, oh, owie. My tummy slash stretch marks and the scar from getting my belly button pierced. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, your stomach looks fine. Check it out, there's a stretch mark cream. Seems to be well-reviewed. Burt's Bees, Mama Bee, Belly Butter. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And then there's this best stretch mark cream. What I'm saying is, shut up. You're just sitting there complaining when there's actually a solution. <laughs> Son. Am I gonna like reload at any point? Oh, there we go. I don't like my stomach and the way it makes my surgery scar look. Okay, go vegan. As for the scar, it probably won't look as weird when you're vegan. And the baby head twirls. I hate my stomach. I know I should accept my body the way it is, but that's hard because people keep calling me fat. Oh god. That's what you call fat? You kind of look like you starve yourself, lady. Like a ton of women watching this wish they were you. I can guarantee you that. And secondly, you're the opposite of fat. You need to eat more food. Killer! <gasps> She's gone. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm so scared. What do I do? I hate how small my upper body is compared to my waist. Uh, what are you talking about? You look proportionate. Like the width of your shoulders is similar to the width of your hips. That's kind of how it's supposed to be. Oh, there you are. Oh my God. <gasps> Boom. I'm really uncomfortable with my large shoulders and my narrow hips. Again, your shoulders are pretty similar to your hips. Just, you know, have a baby. Once you have one or two kids, you'll likely stop complaining about your shoulders because your hips will grow. And this is why I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> my stomach's so horrible, but I'm a proud mother. My son is amazing. Okay, stop. We get it. You love your kid. Most people do. As for your stretch marks, the solution is obvious. So stop complaining and start applying the creams. Freely the banana girl would love this game. Freely's like, see, meat eaters, this is why you're terrible. Ew, blood, ew. I get bullied a lot, and they all say, I'm fat and ugly. My mom tells me I look like a freak. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and stop and focus on your spelling and this sign. I want to be skinner and prettier. As for your freaking body, dude, it's perfect. Stop being dumb. Would you believe that this girl is 19 years old? She asked me to judge her. If you are naturally that weight, as in you eat a healthy amount of food, you're perfect. I think we're alone now. Everything's gonna be- Arrgh! Gotta be okay! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. I don't like my belly and my self-harm scars, but you really helped me stop cutting, thank you. One, your belly is awesome. Two, self-harm scars can be treated with a scar cream. God, you guys, do I have to do everything for you? Go buy it and apply it. Jesus. This chick says she's insecure about her collarbones. You know what you should do? Get cancer. I guarantee you won't care about your collarbones then. Count your blessings, you're healthy. <laughs> Anymore. Ah! Ah, 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 Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm so scared, you guys. <laughs> I don't deserve this. I'm a vegetarian. I never hurt you pigs. Other than that brief moment when I wasn't a vegetarian, but I'm sorry. I want to start off by saying this person looks freaking awesome. But they say, I don't like my whole body at all. And they say their face is probably the worst part. I find that insulting. I hate my belly, my upper arms and hips, but especially my legs. Oh look, it's another crazy woman who hates her body despite her body being freaking awesome. You know, ladies, this just makes me hate you. <laughs> Did I piss myself yet? Oh, cool, naked chicks. Yeah, baby. Oh, you're a dude? That's okay. 
I can swing. I hate my small eyes and the goofy shape of my face and lips. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna agree with you on is your lips do kind of look different, but not goofy. The rest of you looks cool and you probably get complimented a lot. Janiciana, I hate my face without makeup. Um, like you and 60% of the chicks watching this video. Oh no, 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 no. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Another gorgeous looking person. Freaking face is awesome. Unfortunately, I don't know what they're saying, but it has something to do with thighs and curves or something. Do us all a favor and shut up. Your body, your face, you're awesome. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. You're a dick and I hate your face. Same with this chick, Miss Curvapalooza. You believe she's actually complaining about her butts and her hips? On one side of the spectrum, you have chicks that wish they had hips. On the other side, you have chicks complaining about their hips. She tells me not to tell her that a lot of guys like it because it's BS. Really? I don't know what to tell you. Because I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. I mean, there's a freaking song about it, dum dum. I win, you lose, your body's fine, get over it. Why is this happening to me? I'm always nice to everyone. <laughs> Stay down, ICP. This body, however, is terrifying. They apparently sliced up their whole freaking body, and they say they hate everything about it. But fortunately, there's veganism and scar cream. So maybe after a couple of years of dedication, you could actually look really nice. And then another person with a weight problem, they say they dislike everything about their body. Uh, what about the part where you still have 100% of your body? You don't like having no diseases? No, you just hate everything about your body? Could you be more ungrateful? Moral of the story, go vegan or vegetarian if you have a problem with your weight. And use stretch mark or scar cream to take care of the applicable issues. So most of the women in this video know that there's an incredible good chance that you're beautiful and your brain is just defective. It's a bittersweet victory. We are not robots. We are not slaves. We are Banana Nation.